That's alright, welcome back to more Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Off screen, I fixed the problem and installed that thing, and I punched Eddie out for no good reason. What is it? Were you at Better Springs with First Recon? I was in a lot of places with First Recon. I don't really remember. Um. Hang on, I'm just checking to make sure my computer is still working. You must have been in Better Springs. What happened there? There was a miscommunication. Must have been one hell of a miscommunication. Yeah, well, that's how they wrote it up in the report. We did what we were there to do. A lot of people got killed. That's war. Maybe looking back, you do things differently. But that's not how it works. In the field, you hesitate. You or someone you care about will die. They teach that from day one. Being a mindless drone is just as dangerous. You have to think for yourself. Not much hope either way, is there? Do you think about Bitter Springs a lot? Yeah. Always. Even when I sleep. Maybe it would help to go back there. I don't think so. It won't change anything. And that's a memory I don't want refreshed. Okay. Is it because of Bitter Springs that you think you've got bad things coming? Life has a way of punishing you for the mistakes you make. Big enough mistake, punishment can take a while. Mine's not over. If it's out of your control, why worry about it? Yeah, that's what I thought too. But it's not so easy when you know it's coming for you. How do you know your punishment isn't over? Because I'm still alive. Okay, goodbye. So at some point or another, he will tell us he wants to go see the, uh, whatchamacallit, Bitter Springs. He says, oh, I don't know if it'll help me, but it would really show you care about me to take us there. We will say yes. And there will be a quest. Maybe this time, maybe not. But, since we have to wait either way for him to decide to make up his own mind... Why am I using the fist still? That was a joke. Also, I picked up a detonator and some C4. Because that is a safe thing to give me. If you can't tell, that was sarcasm. It is probably a terrible idea to give me C4, and... Hey. I thought some more about what you said. I think maybe you're right. Maybe I should go to Bitter Springs. I don't know what I'm hoping to find there. Okay, we'll make a point to stop there. I hope this isn't a mistake. Yeah, me too. Uh, before I do this... Because I have a pretty strong feeling we're going to botch this on our first attempt. That will help us out later. There is almost no way we stand any hope of getting to it. Okay, we made it. I honestly didn't expect that to work. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? 
Simple enough. Run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. I didn't come here to attack you. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Alright, lead the way. Follow close, and mind your behavior. So we don't get to actually walk. It will just take us there. In the words of so many famous movie stars before me, take me to your leader. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. You didn't exactly roll out a red carpet. Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps the savages at a distance. Except you. There's something special about you, child. And it was the howitzers that gave you a chance to show it. How might I be of assistance? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav... Uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. How can we trust each other if you're going to keep be, be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe. But the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance. Patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world. But I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Hey. Once a Republican, always a Republican. Yeah, so that quest is basically earn their trust up to accepted or liked, I think. I don't remember which. And then they will give you a special quest. Do that quest, and they will grant their assistance to you. I will be doing... All of that up to the actual quest for them, off screen. Ooh. Uh, on second thought, because I really don't feel like walking that far on screen or this time at all. Oh, it's not. You lie. Um, it probably is. For now. We will just help out around here. At least for 10 minutes or so. Then I'm off screen a bunch of stuff. No, that part I need to do later. Like, literally that is part of a quest for someone else. Nellis Air Force Base is required for one of your companion quests, and it's useful in another one. I know which quest we can do. Hey. You. Ah, no, I wanted to talk to him. We are about 400 EXP away from level up. So if we don't level up this time, I will have leveled up off screen. I will probably get several level ups off screen after this part.
So just doing the ghoul quest, doing a plant quest, doing a bunch of other stuff. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. I'm looking for a way to help out. Anything come to mind? What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. Where I come from, we discuss personal matters all the time. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Tell me about her. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. I'll look into it. Stranger things have happened. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. So, yeah, we're going to help him with his little love problem. I figure you people deserve some romance. And 